Hey guys, welcome again. This is a fundamentals of wood carving video that, of course, I've sped up. Um, in this particular project, I'm carving a Viking as depicted by an artist who commissioned me back in 2017 uh, to carve a version of a Viking that he had drawn. So as you can see, I'm right away I'm kind of getting into the major planes of the face. And in this case, I'm using a combination of a, um, a two inch uh, number five and a one inch number four. And defining the uh, planes of the forehead, sides of the head. Uh, also now using uh, knives, V-tools and a 20 millimeter number seven to move around the nose, to move around the uh, mustache, trying to re kind of recess the surrounding areas around the nose to get it to protrude. That's the biggest thing I see, and I've mentioned it in the previous video as well, but people often will, uh, they won't get enough projection from the nose. So you'll see me kind of bringing everything back, and that's evidenced by this profile here you can see that I have uh, quite a bit of relief and so the nose actually sticks out and the nostril flares are set in the face, partly in the face and partly outside of the face. So I'm going in in the inside corners of the eyes with a vayner and a v-tool and I'm using my favorite skew to shape the eyeballs and of course a very deep set vayner to come underneath the eyes and create sort of the bags called the Maller bags, the lowermost bags under the eye, most prominent kind of lowermost bag. And the kind of frown lines or nasolabial folds, as we call them, uh, to try and impress our students. Uh, we use uh, knives. Of course, I occasionally do use a flat blade knife. And the one you see there is one made by uh, Dave Lyons. That's one of my absolute favorite knives. Uh, it's an inch and a quarter, I believe. Uh, and it's somewhere in between a bench knife, which is a thicker knife, and a detail knife, which is uh, uh, not so wide, not so thick. So you can see that I've sort of started to refine the features of the face, and now I'm kind of going to uh, sketch in the uh, armor around his uh, neck and the satchel that he has wrapped around. It's a studded satchel, uh, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Uh, you don't know it's studded yet. So I'm carving underneath the uh, mustache, uh, sorry, the beard, with that skewed knife. Um, somebody posed a question in the comments uh, in the previous video where they might be able to get a similar knife. Um, the, the truth is, uh, I can't remember the name of the company that makes a similar version, but um, I will post it if I can think of it. It's... Um, a company formerly owned uh, by Denny, D-E-N-N-Y. So, oh, dropping things. If you can uh, search Denny online, you'll you'll notice that there is a, a new company, CC something. Uh, I constantly forget the name because I don't have it. I don't really have any of their tools, so uh, I'm not overly familiar with them. But I know that they're a quality tool. I've heard they have a good reputation, so. Anyway, that being said, I'm just sort of texturing the area surrounding the armored collar. And of course, remember we talked about the studded satchel. And so going around the uh, satchel, relieving those uh, studs so that they stand away from the leather wrap. And just having fun with uh, the design a little bit. It's uh, kind of loosely based again on this drawing that was given to me by a previous customer. So. Yep, so I'm just going around with the number four and also this uh, medium-sized veiner, which I love. Uh, probably about four millimeter veiner. Uh, I go in and I create the tufts of the hair, the major shapes, and then I go in and then detail those tufts. But it's important to get the movement of the hair, the direction of the hair, the larger gouge. And these videos are uh, broken down in a lot more detail in the Fundamentals of Wood Carving School, which I have posted in the description below. Um, for those of you interested in kind of a, a long form explanation of how I carve this in real time, 
if you'd like to do something along these lines, uh, I posted a link in the description here. It's on my website. And it's a online school with many projects like this, uh, portraiture mostly, uh, how to carve the realistic human face, uh, male and female, and a variety of other kind of whimsical projects and kind of mysterious uh, green men and wood spirits and uh, some of the typical fodder of the carving world, but then also with my spin on it, some my take. Um, and again, using that skew heavily, fallen in love with that skew over the last few months. Uh, it's been really a treat to use. I, I bought it at an estate sale and it sat in a box for some months and pulled it out, as I said, just a few weeks ago, a few, well, really uh, a few months ago now. Um, and I've just found so much use out of it. Uh, I've gotten so much from it. And uh, so this is two videos. It's uh, broken down into two sections, a longer and a shorter section. So that's where you're seeing that title. But in this video, which is remarkably low resolution, so as we get closer, yeah, it's a little better. Um, you can see the sort of details that uh, I was getting in the, uh, in the carving, the hair, uh, sort of going in with that larger uh, 10 millimeter veiner and then coming back in with a V tool and texturing and giving some uh, defined, more defined tufts and some separation between the tufts. And I try to keep the hair consistent from the origin, uh, meaning from the roots to the, uh, to the ends. You can't see every hair. Some of them tend to get tucked behind others. So yeah, I was really happy with the way this one turned out. This was actually my second attempt at carving a Viking. And the first attempt was pretty good. I was happy with it. Uh, but I just didn't, it just didn't quite do it for me. I, was, I wasn't satisfied. So I redid uh, the video. And this was a much improved version of the Viking. And this was actually auctioned at um, Doan, D-O-A-N-E. Uh, which is a wood carving event at Doan University um, that I taught, a five day event. And there was a banquet at the end, and everyone chose a, uh, all the instructors chose an artwork and auctioned this one off. And it was fun to watch. But yeah, you can see it's really starting to take shape. Uh, the eyes, you know, the round uh, sort of balls of the eyes, the upper eyelids, lower eyelids, all the bags underneath the eye, all kind of defined sharply with that skew knife, which does take some practice to be able to use the knife, but the trick largely, aside from just getting familiar with the tools, uh, the trick is in the way that you anchor your hand. So the non-dominant hand is the hand kind of guiding, directing the tool, and your dominant hand is the one providing the power. So I'm just touching it up with a little sandpaper and calling it a finished carving. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, my name is Alec, and this has been uh, Carving a Viking. And you can find this video again on Fundamentals of Wood Carving. And I really appreciate you taking the time to, wa to watch. Oh, there's the poly. All right, guys. Have a good day.